Greetings, fellow traveler. I want to take a moment to remind you that in life, it's okay to change. Now, I know I've spoken about this uh, recently, but I, I'm be, I'm be honest with you. I have times where I can get caught up in old thought patterns. And where usually I will allow those thoughts to ruminate until it turned into action. I found a lot, a lot of clarity. When I let those thoughts pass, I'll sit still. Be easy, breathe, and think about something better. Think about being better. Think about being grateful for not being the person that I was. Being grateful for the lessons that I learned along the way and the lessons that are to come. So being present and being grateful. And I say this because for a long time, I thought, <laughs> I thought it was amazing to hear about somebody and others testifying saying, oh yeah, man, they, yeah, they've always been that way. That's just how they are. Cause I thought it was, I thought it was a sign of being deeply rooted in strength. But we can be devoted to things that are not really helpful to us. That's the truth of the matter. We can be devoted to people. We can be devoted to things, situations, locations that are just not helpful for our growth, for our for our expansion. And I'm, I'm sharing this wholeheartedly because when I found myself rooted in certain ideas that weren't helpful to me, I had to change it. Certain things I still work on. I give myself grace along the way, but I'm sharing this with you because nobody will honestly sit with me and talk to me about that and their journey and how they had to go through it. Oh, it's, I mean, it's helpful now in this digital age because we have access to so many different people that could be a help and a hindrance. But for the time that I needed it, it wasn't nobody to do it. It wasn't nobody to sit me down and it wasn't their job to sit me down. So I had to get my knocks on blocks and then the person who sat me down was God, the universe. That's when I was able to see myself in a whole new light. I'm also sharing this with you because I hope that you see yourself in a whole new light. I hope you don't believe the testimonies of others that you've known for a long time and you believe their testimony over your own. Nah, know who you are. Nobody, no man on this earth can define you. The God within you can define you in ways that you don't, it got to define you in ways that you don't even imagine for yourself because that's how powerful the source is. So it's okay to change. You might not know where that change is going to lead you. So, do it. Because the reality check for myself was getting caught in certain thought loops or getting caught in certain uh, patterns of behavior and then realizing, no, I spent the last year doing that. And I know how it ends up. I spent the last five years doing that. I know how it ends up. I spent 20 years thinking that way. I know how it ends up. The harvest only gets larger and larger. So you have to uproot it, plant something different. It's going to take time to let that seed germinate and grow, but it's okay. It's a beautiful process because in doing so, you see a whole nother outcome. Better yet, you see a whole nother you. That's the best thing about it. So I, I know this one might be a little heavy. I don't know. It feels that way to me. I hope it resonated with at least one of you. Don't be scared to change. And don't look for nobody to validate you when you do it. You do it. Present it to God. It's the only person you need to know. You ain't got to sit out here and tell nobody. Nah, do you. The rest will take care of itself. Until next time, be blessed. Please don't forget to smile.